looks like we got ourselves an arse of ale. I have the Chevy arse. I mean, I always knew it was a real hunk of shit, but now they're advertising it. I wonder if that's got a dick. The Driver Information Center. That's actually what they call it. Nobody thinks of these things. Uh, we're not heading to right. Look at this traffic. We are just too caucused. Can't see if anybody's coming behind the buses. Yeah, you're good. Good? Yep. We got no pedestrians, a Chrysler, a Ford, Very funny. an X5, and there's the arse. Man, we got ourselves an arse. Just lovely. It just got dicked! Yes, it did! Hey, it's a focus! It's a focus! Where's he going? <laughs> he's he's kind of evasive there. Uh, hey, Kenna. Hey, Ryan. Yeah. It's um, 3.43, you guys get more behind the scenes of JRS Fog here. If you guys didn't catch that, go find him. I'll put his link down below. Uh, there's something Taylor would enjoy over there. But anyways, we are going to be taking a walk here in a little bit. Uh, we're just going to walk over to, what's the name of the park? It's by the police station. So we're not doing Barlow bad Community this time. Center. Barlow Community Center. Yeah, so it should be nice. It's 49 and uh, we're trying to enjoy this. There he is. So, uh, it's walk time. Uh, Cadillacs of uh, yeah, XLR. Exactly. Very That's nice. Good. Very nice for us those America, for those American people. Yeah, it's hard to tell those two things apart. Look the same. Yeah, look, look what they did to our lake here. Oh, they drained it. Well, they drained this one. Uh, maybe they put all the water in the next one, or it's all circulating through the pipes. We don't know. Hey, Colt, does this look familiar? This is where uh, we rode our bikes. Remember, your your brake was just cocked. Road no, bikes it was down there. Kenan's break. Well, it was yeah, the it years. was Kenan's bike that Colt rode, and these are the chairs. Taylor, you want to explain what happened over here at these chairs? A lot of things happened on those chairs. Oh. Kenan bought his first Mac there. Well, 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 we talked him into buying his first Mac here. But what happened with Colt at these chairs? Don't put that in. Okay, we'll stop here. Chocolate, chocolate menu. Mm. Okay, many hours have passed as usual. I've kind of noticed that's a trend. I film a whole bunch sometimes uh, during the day and then I come home and I do stuff and usually I'm pretty busy so I try not to film a whole lot and then nothing happens until now and I usually come out and end this. Um, but I thought I'd give kind of an update out here. The temperature has plummeted. It is down about 34 degrees. I can see the Big Dipper up there again. Of course the flip won't see it. Uh, today was Monday. It was actually a really good day. Uh, tomorrow should be too. Just a, a little quiz. Um, on ecological succession and guess what guess what ecology class um, so we'll get that done I heard from BMW today well actually I had to call them they are so busy over there at Dave Walter they need another dealer around here there's BMW Cleveland there's Dave Walter BMW and there's Kane BMW in Canton those are all within 20 well 40 miles of each other maybe 50 miles of each other and they're all so busy that you call and they're really nice and they're like okay well I need to talk to my manager he's not here I'll have him call you back as soon as possible and if you don't call them you won't hear from them it's just like they get stuff on their desk it gets piled um, the stuff gets piled up and you never hear from them so you've got to call them and make the uh, the effort to get in contact with them anyways as you know it's about the uh, the cluster display in there with all the pixels um, so I called over there I got my manager Josh um, I got an estimate. It's high. Guys, it's high. Um, it's going to be a refurb cluster. Somebody pointed out yesterday that I'm going to get the gray dials instead of the black. Honestly, I think I like the black better. The black has more contrast. Um, and it looks really good. I really like the black. Um, and unfortunately, you can't really see it, but how many times have you seen this? Uh, the lighting is always going to be orange, but you can see the display down there is just cocked. That's supposed to say lights on. The on is okay. It's only missing one pixel in the end. Uh, it won't let me cycle through the stuff right now because the engine's not on or any of that stuff. Um, but it, it's just not good. You can't really read this stuff. So, um, including the 75% off that BMW is willing to pay, 75% of the replacement part, which will be a refurbished unit from some E39 M5. So it's a it's a possibility I would get a black one. That's only if I get a black, that's only if I get a pre-9 of 2000, pre-September 2000 when they did the facelift, they did the bigger screen, the lights, all that stuff. This is a February of 2000. So chances are I'll get the gray dial one I don't like the gray as much. Whatever, I'll get used to it, you know? So, you've guessed by now, I'm gonna do it. I'm freezing, that's why I'm kind of shaking and fluttering a little bit. It's really cold out here. 
I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be $491, including the 70% off, 75%. Uh, but you know, I love this car. I want to have it for a long time and that's one of the things that's only gotten worse since I got it Eventually none of them are gonna work and I'd rather just replace it I know I can do it myself people have told me that I can take it out I can put a new ribbon cable in there myself for probably less than $50 But every how-to I've ever read say only do this if you are good with electronics um, And soldering stuff. I don't I don't think you have to solder anything uh, But it's a lot of complicated very precise very delicate work that needs to be done and I don't feel I have what it takes to do that I don't know anybody who does so I'm gonna pay BMW to do it I'm going in Thursday at 2 o'clock I'm gonna wait on it Kenan's gonna be with me it's gonna be about a one to two hour job it's I mean it I don't think it'd be that long really they should just be able to take this out put the new one in they'll probably run a quick diagnostic on it uh, I don't think the camera's gonna see it but there's always been a, a slight scratch here like somebody went in with a ring or a key or something and put a little scratch in it um, so hopefully that this glass is part of the cluster, I think, and maybe that'll get replaced. If not, it's not a big deal. But I really want the screen to work. I can't get it to come on and out and out at all now. Maybe if I, yeah, there it is. But uh, so that that's gonna get done. I'm gonna pay for it. Whatever. It's only money. Money comes and goes. Um, but I think that the gray dials will match my two-tone seats because I have the uh, the gray leather on the seats, and they'll match my aluminum trim. And the exterior car color is light. Silverstone metallic, so maybe it won't look that bad. But the replacement part itself is uh, like $1,400, so I'm only going to pay $400, including labor and tax. It'll be $491 out the door, um, so we'll do that Thursday. We'll film some of it. Obviously, I can't go back in the shop and film, but that'd be awesome because they have a really beautiful shot back there where they work on these cars. Um, so that's it for today. We got a nice walk in. It was pretty nice, about 50, uh, 48 degrees maybe, and pretty sunny. Tomorrow's supposed to be a little cloudier and maybe 40. And then there's a chance of snow Tuesday. So I hope it doesn't snow. If it does, I'll just get a ride in and out of school with them and the Honda because I really don't want to get this dirty. But if we're into another week of rain, then I'm not going to not drive it for a week. So I'm going to go in now and do some editing, talk to Bobby a little bit, and me work on some graphics work. Um, technically, it's going to be an in-class assignment, but I'd like to get it done so I can do other stuff in that class tomorrow morning. Um, but before I ramble on too long, this is today, day 421. If you actually got the 420 reference yesterday, I think I only saw one comment. The intro on that was was a little different. Uh, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching this. Had a good day. Uh, give me some feedback. Give me some comments. How was your day? What did you do? Uh, sometimes I care. So go ahead and leave, um, leave that stuff down below. I'm going to go ahead. It's really cold. Um, so I'll talk to you tomorrow on Tuesday. Good night.